We are back in the workshop with Bertie. Welcome back, sir. I have a huge amount of respect for what Bertie and his team do, knowing how much of our road safety hinges on the holistic health of our braking system. We've covered at length the front of the car. Now we move to the rear where for the uneducated eye like mine, it looks pretty much exactly the same, but I have to assume that there are some differences. Take us through some of those. If we look at the system itself, we've got the disc, or a rotor that we refer to exactly the same as the front. We also have a caliper that houses the brake pad that's exactly the same as the, the front, but the main difference is we've got a handbrake cable that's linked to the caliper. That makes sure that you've got a handbrake uh, on the rear of the vehicle as well to assist that vehicle to stand still when you get to a stop. All right, got my gloves. Keen to get cracking. Where do we begin? What are we going to cover here? Okay, first of all, it's exactly the same as the front. We've got sliding pins that we need to loosen to get the caliper off, to get to the pads itself, and exactly the same removing the disc. So let's start with that. Let's loosen the, the slide pins. A telltale sign that your vehicle's brakes need attention is an incredibly high-pitched squeal when you come to a stop. Also watch out for vibration in the steering wheel and grinding noises. Just by looking at it, there's some life left in these pads, but while we're busy, we replace it with a new set of Ferrero brake pads to make sure that the occupants of this vehicle is kept safe. Yep, even just a little bit of wear and tear, safety first. Something that I want to show the viewers at home on the rear brake system is how to get this pot back safely. Now over the years, I've seen guys use a uh, uh, long nose pliers try to actually turn the pot and push it back and it normally ends up in somebody's hand and a couple of stitches <laughs> definitely so you need a specialized tool and I've brought one with me today so you can actually see what any spare shop uh, around your area it's not that expensive and especially if you love working on your car itself this will be a good add-on on the tools that you've got at home how do you know when you've got to its base or its original position again when you've turned it back to the furthest point that it can turn back, that's the home position to make space for the new set of brake pads that we're going to fit. And the main reason why this uh, caliper actually turns back with pressure, instead of compared to the front one just with pressure pushing it back, the handbrake is linked to this screw inside here. And every time when you apply the handbrake, you actually use the screw, utilize the screwing action of the caliper to clamp down on the disc itself. So. By, by doing this, you be ensuring that you're not damaging the, the caliper itself and uh, everything is going as smooth as possible. Ferodo engineers specialize in developing friction solutions for even the most demanding braking situations. It gives peace of mind to know that 8 out of 10 top selling vehicles in Europe is Ferodo fitted. The disc is in a fairly good condition, that's why we've actually did not uh, change the, the disc at this stage, it will be changed or skimmed within the next uh, service interval. I was going to ask, is this a standardized system or how much can it differ from vehicle to vehicle? They're very similar to one another. There could be a little differences, but the principle stays exactly the same. And of course, we know you leave us with these pearls of wisdom. Any tips for our viewers? The biggest tip is if you've got a vehicle with an electronic park brake system, the one that works with a button applying the handbrake, Rather take that to a specialist, you need specialized equipment to work on those vehicles. And in general, if you're not comfortable working on a braking system, take it to an expert that can work on the vehicle to make sure that your life stays safe. So if it's got the button to set off the handbrake, take it to a pro. That's right. Well, hugely informative and a great way to save some money if you have the confidence in your own workshop at home. But ultimately, it's about keeping your car and you safe out in those roads. And you can, of course, continue the conversation online. You can check out the Froda website, follow them on Twitter, and also check them out on Facebook. Bati, bye, Donkey Thank you. I suppose we should get this wheel back on now, yeah? Yeah, we need to finish <laughs> this job.